It's actually a brand new casino, uh, Resort World slash Hilton slash Conrad slash Crockfords. Last time I was at Resort World, it was in the Philippines. Today we're going to a part of Vegas that I'd never really go to ever. We're going to Old Vegas, downtown Fremont Street, that area. Apparently there's a ton of food to be found over there, so let's go see what we can find. And before we head downtown, a huge thank you and shout out to Raycon Earbuds for sponsoring this video and continuing to support this channel. If you guys are looking for a new pair of earbuds, I recommend trying trying these out. I've been using these for I think over a year now. These ones I have here are the Everyday Y25. I like them because first of all, super compact, beautiful color, blue, my favorite. And when you open them, they don't fall out no matter what you do. Unlike my previous earbuds that cost twice as much, when I even open the case slightly the wrong way, it falls out right away. If you never heard of Raycon, it's co-founded by Ray J, and they wanted to provide innovative earbud designs that don't break the bank, which these are. I wear these things every single day when I work out, when I'm running around the hotel room doing my cardio. They don't fall out even though I have the strangest ear shapes Ever. I'm not kidding. Like, my ears are super annoying. Nothing ever fits right. Things always fall out. Earbuds, headphones, whatever I use always falls out. These never do. These things, super easy to pair. Six hours of playtime. And you can try them out for 45 days. Don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. Also, Mike Tyson loves them. So you try going disagreeing with Mike. So if you want to give these a try, go to my link down below or just go to buyraycon.com slash Mikey Chen. You're going to get 15% off your water. Raycon earbuds start about half the price of other premium wireless earbud brands. And they sound just as amazing as other top audio brand. And if you don't like blue, there's a full range of colors and designs to choose from. Ooh, looks like a thunderstorm might be coming. Let's get out of here. So I've been waiting for today. I've just been doing in-room dining and uh, hotel food videos for the past several days because it's been so hot outside. Today's the coolest day it's been since I got to Vegas. 93 degrees. That's so nice. Never would I ever think in my life I would call 93 degrees cool, but only in Vegas. First stop, Donut Bar. Best donuts in the world. Let's see about that. Ooh, they opened from 7 a.m., 8 a.m. till sold out. Please use other door. Whoa, there's huge donuts. Morning, hi. I'm good, how are you? These look massive. Oh, this looks so good. The cream belay? 100%, yeah. And then these two? Yes. Uh, I'll take blueberry. Okay. Yeah, and then you said the cake batter, right? And then I'll take the cream belay. This one? Yeah, 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 let's get that. Why not? So these are the donuts. Oh my gosh. First of all, uh, this box of four donuts, this is over a pound for sure, 100% over a pound. Let's just try the number one recommended one, the creme belay. First bite, I missed all the cream, so I just got a little bit of the crunchy outer shell. Still a little better. Oh. Oh. Perfect sugary crust on top, which is the most delightful, creamy, light filling on the inside. And the donut itself, amazingly airy and light. This is the hefty one here, oh wow. This is responsible for most of the weight that's in this box. I think they said this is a, a, a Pop-Tart donut? This is about a pound. I'm not joking, this is about a pound. And there's blueberry inside. This thing looks like if, if I dropped it on the sidewalk, the sidewalk would crack. One bite, I haven't even made a dent. Mm. Delicious blueberry filling again, squeezed inside an amazingly light and fluffy and airy donut. They're actually right about this. It feels hefty, but it goes down light. I've struck Pop-Tart. Once you bite into it, of course, it change in texture. You get that great flaky crust from the Pop-Tart. This is pretty ingenious. You're basically eating a donut that ate a Pop-Tart. All right, I think I need a drink of water after that. Do feel the sugar overload after that bite for sure. And I'll be honest with you guys, 
I don't eat donuts that much. My best friend isn't Homer Simpson, but this is such a light and airy donut. Oh, wow. This is basically a strawberry cream donut sandwich. This thing looks both beautiful and vicious. Like the strawberries, is tea. I feel like this thing, if you take a bite of this, it might take a bite back. That might be my favorite donut so far. Maybe it's because there is at least a little bit of something healthy in there in the terms of the strawberries. So I feel like my life force isn't completely being drained from me. And what makes this place so good, I don't really feel like it's the toppings or anything. It's really about how they made the donuts. Again, some of the lightest, airiest donuts I've had in my life. And I have to say, these donuts are adorable. Uh, they're adorable. <laughs> There's no way I can finish all this and expect to make it back to my hotel. This is another place a lot of people said was good. The Good Witch. Nevada's best signature sandwich, the patty melt. Okay, let's do the patty melt. This is a patty melt fitting for Las Vegas because perfectly toasted bread. Patty in the middle, tons of gooey cheese. I think there's some caramelized onions here as well. So in the middle, it's not just a patty, it's bits of ground beef. It kind of reminds me of the chopped cheese sandwich a little bit from New York. I think this place should change its name. I don't think it should be called Good Witch anymore. I think it should be called The Best Witch. This is something truly amazing. I like sweet stuff, I do, but I can't eat too much of it. It's like I was drunk on something sweet and this thing just completely woke me up. Not exaggerating a little bit, when you come to Vegas, you need to come get the sandwich. If I wasn't eating other foods today, I would order another five of these, go back to my hotel room, close the curtains, turn on some anime, and just not come out for the rest of the day. Perfectly cooked, butter toasted bread on the outside. The meat is flavored so beautifully. There's a little spice in here, I think a little cayenne to give it a bit of a kick. It's so meaty and the cheese is just everywhere. A little bit of sweetness and crunch from the caramelized onions. This is everything I want in a gooey, cheesy sandwich. Mmm, and the spicy pickles are awesome too. I'm just shocked a place called The Good Witch could make something so diabolically delicious. I should open a place right across the street from this place called The Bad Witch. It would just be only broccoli sandwiches, Vegas must try. <sighs> this place is a little bit ways from downtown, but I saw the picture of it and I really wanted to come here. Los Arcos Birria Tacos. I'm like addicted to these tacos ever since I had them many years ago. This is definitely not a very touristy place, so I think I scored a jackpot with it. <laughs> this is the dipping sauce. Oh, with bits of meat and fat floating inside. I wanted to get inside because they serve a big bowl of consomme. It looks like there's a bunch of meat inside that. I really wanted to have that, but I also want to eat on my hood. So I got two goat tacos and I got one beef taco and the shell's extremely crispy. And these things are just loaded with meat. Look at this, tons of meat in here. That's gold. That is mind-blowingly delicious, even before the consomme. Wow, take this, dunk it in. If you are a fan of Birria tacos, I know I'm saying that wrong, I'm sorry. Do yourselves a favor when you're in Las Vegas and come eat this. One of the best ones I've ever had in my life. The shell is a perfect combination of chew and crunch. The meat is seasoned beautifully. So much meat and cheese, every single taco. I mean, leave this trip. How many eat this? Oh, do not bite into that salsa unless you are ready to die a little bit. Mm. Please come here and get these tacos. And everyone inside is so nice as well. Mm. This is so spicy. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna dip some in here and go ahead and dunk it into the consomme a little. Mm. 
And I love it that they left little chunks of meat in here so I can just kind of get some of that as well. Mm. And paired up with the tacos will send your taste buds to overdrive. I mean, you're getting everything here. You're getting the great texture from the shell, the delicious, fatty, melting your mouth meat. Oh, look at this one. Oh, the cheese is a little seared right here. You get that little tiny bit of cheese skirt, which is really the best thing ever. Look at how much meat they put in here. Dunk it into the elixir of life is what I'm gonna call it. That's pretty much what it is. You're gonna be sad if you leave Vegas and not come here. You will be. Food regret will come to hunt you. You don't want that. You know the story of Ghost of Christmas Past? It'd be like that. Like you'd just be sitting in bed one day and all of a sudden like taco ghost shows up. It's gonna show up like this, all toasty and crunchy and cheesy and smelling good. It's gonna ask you why you didn't eat it back when you went to Vegas. And you're gonna have no response to that. So do yourselves a favor. Come eat something good. Also prevent yourself from being haunted by a ghost taco. Downtown Las Vegas. I was here once when we were filming the View and Shoot Show. So this is what they call the Fremont Street Experience. I actually did that. So that's a zip line. You go up there and zip line down. You would think it's really exciting. It's the most mellow thing I've ever done in my life. It doesn't go very fast. It's just kind of slowly zip lining down. I almost fell asleep. This is the infamous heart attack grill. If you weigh more than 350 pounds, you eat for free. This place at night actually comes alive. There's concerts, there's uh, performances. It's actually pretty fun to walk around at night. This is so funny. So there's a place here called Dick's Last Resort. I don't know how many guys have ever been there. So I was in San Diego and I was really hungry. And I saw this place. It's the only place that had some seats left. So I went in, asked for some food. And I noticed that the waitress kept being mean to me and ignoring me. And I'm like, this is just bad service. Wait a minute. Then I realized the whole restaurant's concept was uh, People are mean to you and they ignore you. Okay, ton of food options around here. First place I'm going to, Dirt Dog. Yeah, you looking for Jackie Chan? No, I'm his son. No, I'm serious. You don't believe me. It's always fun getting people to take a photo with Jackie Chan's son. This is how I troll. The Heart Attack Grill has a scale right there so you can step on and weigh yourself. And if you're over 350, you get free cheeseburgers. Speaking of uh, heart attacks, my Stoop Dog is here. Looks like bacon, coleslaw on the bottom on this really nice roll. And honestly, it's a lot lighter than I thought. I should do these exercises more where I just try to open my mouth as wide as possible. This is freaking delicious. I'll be honest, I eat about maybe two hot dogs a year. Mainly because back when I had no money and living in New York, you could buy hot dogs back then sometimes for 50 cents a pop. Now I would just eat like four hot dogs a day for lunch. So sick of hot dogs. So it's never been something I sought out, but this, this is delicious. First of all, buttery toasted roll. That is just a airy scrumptious piece of wrapper. I don't like it when the hot dog has that generic hot doggy flavor. I don't know if it makes sense at all. This thing just tastes like a delicious sausage. And it's topped with this vinegary slaw, sweet caramelized brown sugar bacon, and some kind of spicy barbecue sauce on top. <laughs> this is delicious. If you're a fan of hot dogs, even if you're not like me, come and try one of these. I mean, it's quick, it's simple. It's got veggies on it, so it must be good for you too. And this is the loaded french fries they told me I had to try. This thing also bacon, some masada, some kind of spicy mayo dressing with cilantro. That's delicious too. The fries, first of all, crunchiest fries ever. And they've been sitting here while I was gushing over the hot dog. They've just been sitting here waiting for me. Still retain so much of that crunch. Steak is good, bacon is good, sauce is good. Texture is fantastic. Maybe I'll, uh, after eating this, I'll go plot myself on a scale and see how much I weigh after all this stuff is in my stomach. You know, I keep a scale at home. 
as motivation. Because after I go on a food trip, I'll go back and weigh myself. That scared me enough to go out and buy some vegetables. It is a little ominous to be stuffing my face with a hot dog and bacon fries. While the world's hardest hag is just staring down at me. There's the scale. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? Nah, I still wanna eat for the rest of this week. This is really cool. It's like a canopy that reaches all the way across Fremont Street with visuals on top. And they'll have light shows here at night as well. All right, food is here. This is what they're known for, red velvet chicken and waffles. And this place I'm at, Therapy, it's uh, one of the most must try places around downtown. This is such an interesting concoction. Red velvet waffles, piece of chicken inside, some lettuce and I guess spicy mayo on the bottom. This definitely uh, looks hefty. It's actually super, super light. This is so awesome. I didn't even taste the chicken yet. That chicken just fell off my waffles. I'm just eating red velvet waffles at this point, and this alone is so good. Mmm. That's some perfectly made waffles. All right, let me let me try this again. Okay, so this is good. But I'm way more into the waffles than I am into the chicken. Chicken's good, it's fine. A little bland, but the waffles. I'm just gonna like separately eat the waffle. <laughs> All right, so good. Perfectly crispy on the outside. Fluffiest, airiest waffles. And I love red velvet anything. Waffles, cakes. Mm. That's my favorite part about this. Usually when I'm eating chicken and waffles, I typically like the chicken more. It is all about the waffles for me today. Mm. It's actually a lot of places to find good food um, around the downtown area, especially if you expand your radius a little more uh, to be on Fremont Street, like the patty melt I had today, the tacos, some of the best food I've had in Vegas. I think my eyes are glossing over. <laughs> There's one more place I want to try out, but unfortunately, it is close today. It's a grocery store that sells Thai food and Lao food. It's all the way on the other side of Fremont Street. So guess I'm going to go home, pass out, and tomorrow, our Las Vegas downtown food adventure continues. Grab a slice of pizza before I head back. I've been away from New York a long time. I missed the pizza, so I think last week I went and grabbed a slice. This actually does remind me of New York pizza. Super thin toasted crust, curvy pepperoni with a little pool of oil. Hmm. It reminds me of a New York slice. I think this is one day where I really, really, really enjoyed going around to places around Vegas purely because of the weather. I mean, it's a little windy, but man, is it nice. I even encounter a little bit of rain. I'm getting a little sentimental because I'm leaving day after tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day here. I'll miss it. This would always be my food mecca, the place I always wanted to come to because this is where buffets thrive in America. And hopefully next time I come back, I can actually eat in one of them. All right, gonna hit back, tons of work to do. And tomorrow we're gonna hit up that one last location down on Fremont Street. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Heading back to the downtown area for that one restaurant I missed. Got lucky again. The second coolest day of my trip here. I think it was supposed to be 100 today. It turns out to be high of uh, only, only 95. Uh, that feels good. It does. There it is. Hello. This is it. Sisters Oriental Market, a Lao Thai food market. And this is. I guess a different end of Fremont Street. I think uh, all the casinos are way over there. This seems to be a very local spot. So this part looks like a general market. You can buy rice, groceries, whatever. This is the food part. Is 
Just from the pictures, this looks really good. Homemade special sauce, Lao Sukiyaki soup. I think I should be getting that. So it's beef and it's like a lot of innards. Sticky rice on the side. Perfectly seasoned bits of meat. I like the tripe, especially that nice crunch. Hmm. Whole thing is spicy, it's fragrant with all that great basil cooked in here. This is the first time I think I've had beef lard. Usually it's pork. Hmm. But that's delicious. Mm, sticky rice is amazing too. I love Thai sticky rice because it's sticky without being like overly sticky. Which is my biggest complaint with uh, a lot of sticky rice in Chinese cooking. It still retains its nice fragrance and texture. The only mistake I made, I asked for a level six spicy out of 10. I should have done like eight or nine. I would definitely do spicier. Other than that, super rustic, wonderfully delicious. Definitely like a home cooked meal kind of vibe in the flavors you're tasting. Oh, that's good. Let's try the sukiyaki noodles. First of all, big bowl noodles. Some crab, shrimp, meatballs. Wait, is this a poached egg? Oh yeah, that's a poached egg. And that is pretty. Rice noodles, some squid, some morning glory in here as well. Very peanutty, flavor's really deep. Definitely need a little vinegar, a little acid, a little more chilies. More vinegar. I love vinegar in my soups, especially Thai soups. I love a ton of vinegar, I love a ton of heat. Okay, I think this should be perfect at this point. Perfect. This is a delicious ball of soup. Flavor's a little peanutty, a little sweet. So nice and rich and creamy. Broth is the best part of this whole thing. And these noodles are great because they soak up that broth. Seafood is good, veggies is good, brings around tons of different textures. Really no matter, whatever you soak into this broth, it's gonna taste good. I wish they have these like, you know, those Chinese massive soup spoons. I love these homey little hole in the wall places. It's just like you're stepping into some auntie's kitchen. I think I'm really ready to just not do anything for the rest of the day and just lay there. That was good. That was a perfect ending to a fun couple of days exploring the downtown area of Las Vegas. I always get a rental car whenever I come to Vegas just because I love going off the strip. There's so many amazing restaurants that you may require a little driving or a little Ubering to, but they are so worth it to check out. Just like this little hole in the wall here. Of course, as always, all the places I went to listed down below for you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. Until we eat again. See you later.